All right, last uh, last thing we need to cover because otherwise only Voldemort podcast is going to talk about it. Shick, this kid came out of nowhere. Seems to be pretty legit. Ben didn't seem to have too much of a problem with him in the in the finals, but obviously if you come from the qualifiers and end up in Championship Sunday, you're doing something interesting, particularly if you haven't played any pro singles tournaments before. What are your what are your thoughts on this kid? I mean, I don't know. I, I was super impressed. Really exciting style of play, and uh, a lot of a lot of shots that just make for awesome highlights. Well, I think I think in every sport. So, okay, so I will say he was pretty impressive to watch. Um, he was obviously very good at singles. Now I will say that in every single sport out there, especially in UFC itself or just like, you know, anything that has to do with fighting or anything like that, there is always always someone out there that it's not in the spotlight that maybe has a family, so has to work some construction job or whatever, you know, whatever it is, we can't afford a gym anymore, that is not a professional in that certain thing, and they could be better than the number one player in the world or the number one wrestling thing in the world, like whatever it is. And it happens everywhere. And I'm not saying Chick is like the best player in the world, and that's not what I'm saying at all. I even though I think he's very good in singles, but I think those people will come in and out. You know, someone will play, do really well. Someone will play, do really well, and fall off. I, th- I mean, I think we just see that happen all the time. And yeah, I just think there's always people out there in any specific scenario that are just better than you are. They just don't. Ha- they have a family, they have a job, or whatever it is, and you just can't do it as often as we do. Yeah, and then part of that is you guys just haven't seen him play. You don't know his playing style. So when you play him for the first time, a lot of the unorthodox things he's doing are catching you off guard. But if you play him a few times, you get used to those little nuances to his game. And you kind of figure them out. You know, that advantage of being the new guy kind of subsides over time. Yeah, yeah. you get a, you get a scouting report on people over, over time. And I think this is a, a fairly well-documented um, pattern. Mm-hmm. Somebody can come in and break in and they can – you know, surprise some people. And then naturally they take a little bit of a step back as people get the, the read on them and, and an expectation of them, right? Like you see Colin Schick in the draw and you're like, okay, I have a easy round. I never heard of this guy before. Right. And then next time after he kicks your ass the first time, you're like, okay, I need to take this guy seriously. I'm not gonna let him get up a game on me or whatever. So like, and, and again, none of this is to say that, Colin is not a good player because I think that the things that he is doing is going to lead to a really strong pickleball career if he decides to quit that bum stuff of being a doctor and uh, pursue something meaningful like pickleball. Yeah. So I I think that the athleticism (laughs) that he has is I've yet to see somebody quicker. I don't know. You have, have you DJ? I mean, I, I mean, outside of watching professional tennis, yeah, right, yeah. right. In but pickleball. on the pickleball court itself, definitely not. Uh, I haven't, but I will also add that a lot of one of the skills that make a really good athlete uh, in any sport is adaptability, right? Like you see something happen, it gets you, and then it's okay. I know that's gonna happen. So I'm going to basically not let it happen ever again. And I mean, Ben is Ben Johns is like the master of that, right? Like you get Ben once and then you try again. And you're like, oh, oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, Colin oh. got him once. You got him in the first game and then the next two games were yeah, I mean, beat it's, downs. it's a beat down. Like it's not competitive. You kind of just, you know, it's you. he wins the second game. He's like 4-0 and you're like, all right, sounds good. And you like turn off the YouTube right so i think i think for a lot a lot of us that are in that top 10 top 15 in the world it, we're there because even though there might be someone more skilled we're just, we're just able to adapt better with the circumstances than other people that are, might be a little bit better than us they just can't deal with the wind as well they just can't really adjust in game as well and you know use fine it's like that that in-game strategy that they're just not good at. And I think it's a huge, huge uh, thing to basically be what makes you a really good pickable player, basically, or any type For of sure. Sport. As people get accustomed to his patterns, can he get accustomed to theirs? 
right? Because mm-hmm. obviously the shoe's on uh, on the other foot in that case, right? He doesn't know Ben. Ben doesn't know him. Mm-hmm. Um, so can he adjust and and make adjustments to beat Ben? Now, here's the thing. Here's why I think Colin Schick is really a, a very, very promising player, in singles especially. There's two important pieces of movement in singles. Who covers the court best in singles currently? Who would you guys say? Who covers the court best? Uh, the kitchen line or the baseline? Good question. Well, it's just overall, who covers the, the court the best? I always think of like Julian Arnold as being able to get to shots when you think like the, the point's over and he just keeps it alive somehow. Mm-hmm. That's what comes to mind for me. I would say Federico. Federico, Julian. Federico and Julian are type one movers. And I'll, I'll say this, which means they're very, very fast. Once they get going, they can, once they get a, a, a going, they'll get to anything. You know who else is really good movers? Ben and JW, they look slow, mm-hmm. right? But they're on everything. Ben's impossible to pass. J-Dub's super difficult to pass. You watch those guys run, they're not fast. They're type two movers. They have a really, really powerful lunge. They can cover 90% of the court in one lunge, where Federico and Julian have to take two or three really quick steps. Colin is both, and that's why I think he's so promising. When he's covering at the net, his first step is incredibly powerful. At the net, he's able to take one big lunge and get to that ball. From the baseline, he's fast. He's the first person that I've seen that has the two types of movement combined. Yeah, I would I would agree with that. I was I was really impressed uh, when he when he had a lot of good wins, obviously, but especially when he beat Dylan, in my opinion, because now Dylan might not be the best singles player out there, but he plays full on pickleball, right? Like you play him in doubles, you play him in singles, mixed up, whatever it is. And you know that he's just going to pull some pickleball stuff on you that you just like, okay, well, he's a pickleball player. I'm a tennis player, right? Type of thing. And he was able to just basically see right through that and beat Dylan. Now, I think he had some really good wins at the same time, but it's more of a tennis on tennis. Like, let's see who's faster. Let's see who who gets to the more. Let's see who's like an actual warrior out there, you know, a dog, right? And basically make more balls or hit better shots. But with Dylan, I was like, Dylan's going to come in, drop, play cat and mouse with with him and, probably just beat him up and it was like zero of that he just mm-hmm. like took care of business pretty well too yeah. so dylan's not a fun matchup for tennis players no, for new tennis players especially because they're like what the hell is this this is not tennis yeah 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 um, exactly but chick was able to to deal with it and it was a good match i think it was what a three setter mm-hmm. right yeah but, it was a very good match but i was just not expecting that at all just like i said just someone like dylan that he he can hit a drive like in tennis but it's not a tennis drive so how do you read that you know, in single especially. It's like, yes, you just have no idea where the ball's going. <laughs> True that. All right. Well, he's in uh, med school, so we'll see if he actually uh, dedicates some serious time to this. What do you think his upside is? In singles? Mm-hmm. I think, I think. I mean, it can be, I don't know. I don't play singles. <laughs> <laughs> You've started to play singles lately. Yeah, a little bit. Is that more so are more players doing that just to get reps for like major league pickleball? Is that kind of what that's about? So for me for me it started that way. Um and then it kind of turned out that I personally like it. Mm-hmm. I actually do like it. Now, given that I'm playing like three or four matches max, right? Like I'm just maybe win first round, then I lose to a seed, then I maybe win one round again and then I lose. So I'm not going through the full grind of playing a full tournament in singles like Zane would. Uh, maybe if that ever happens, I would change my mind and be like, yeah, we're never doing this again. But as of right now, it went, it went from, okay, I need to be good for uh, singles for MOP purposes. And I was like, oh, wait, this is kind of fun. (laughs) There you go. So, um, yeah, I think the upside is pretty, pretty high for him because he's, he can play the cat and mouse. He's lightning fast, both types of movement. Um, he must be decently smart if he's in med school. (laughs) <laughs> like to be able to f- to figure some stuff out. Um, 
I think that the I think he's got a lot of a lot of potential. And the thing that I think people weren't even necessarily paying attention to was some of the things that he could create from the kitchen, the cat and mouse stuff, and going toe to toe and winning a couple of hands battles against Dylan and Ben in singles. Obviously, that's different than winning a hands battle in doubles, but still not easy to do. So I think, you know, if if he puts his mind to it, I don't see why he couldn't be a competitor for the number one spot. Pretty high on him. Mm-hmm. I love that. <laughs> All right, are we going to do our, our wrap-up thing that you, you made me wait for? Yeah, but what we're going to do is just say, okay, that's a pod. Subscribe. Leave a review on Spotify. Subscribe. Do it again. Subscribe now. <laughs> I like that. Uh, but yeah, that's a pod. Yeah. I'm not gonna lie, Dyler has gone on yeah.